What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. In this video, we're gonna be diving into a concrete overlay. We'll also be jumping into some more of the deck details and some low voltage lighting. It's gonna be a good one, so make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. What you doing? Tony. I'm working. What are you doing? I'm filming you. Um, we're throwing down this decorator sleeper system on top of this concrete slab porch, whatever you want to call it. Very easy, effective system. It's thermally modified composite material, so it's impenetrable to wood. That's not, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it is at all. <laughs> What is it, Sean? Teach me. Teach the people. Well, what we got here, you're getting confused with the UFP edge material, which is oh, thermally modified. It this is mineral-based. It's, it's mineral-based composite. Oh, yeah. So this is the same exact material that the decking's made out of. Gotcha. Look, I it has an incredibly on. high weight to strength ratio. Mm -hmm. So it's lightweight, but it's also super strong. Super strong, yeah. Try to break it. I can't, I'm standing on it. Woo! You guys got this up in a jiffy. Jiffy, right? Woo! Yeah. Thanks, bud. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna look real nice. Yeah. Can I get my belt on? What are you gonna do? Jump in. I was gonna jump in and help the guys out, but um, <laughs> I guess they don't need me right now, so. You need anything? Not at all. <laughs> all right, I'm here if you need me. We got some stuff to do in the van anyway, so. I tried to cut a square cut. <laughs> what? And that happened. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty good fit. You can see we got a lot of these deck boards down. Uh, Tony had to do this fancy little scribe here. You want to give them a quick little demonstration how you do that with I, your little compass there? You scribe it, you cut it, cut it on a little bit of an angle, install it. Good, isn't it? Thanks for that very informative. Uh... <laughs> Why are you being so shy, Tony? I don't know how to explain it. It's very difficult. All right, so <laughs> we've got this irregular face of stone here. So what you're going to want to do with something like this, we can't actually mark out this piece because it's such a small piece. So what we want to do in this case Make a template. You can get a piece of cardboard, whatever, and you're gonna go like this, and you're just gonna go 90 degrees off the stone, and you're gonna basically trace that contour of the stone. You'll have that, then you can put it on your piece, you can cut it, you'll be good to go. We've got some nicer weather today, so. Finally. So. We're gonna hold off on the screen porch till we get our next rain day. That's our little rain pet project. So we're back out here with some really just nice weather and we're getting this outdoor kitchen built. Build a kitchen. What we're doing here, all we're gonna have is a grill and an access door in here. So nothing too crazy. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So um, once we get a couple more of these components kind of built the sidewalls, we'll show you exactly how this goes together.
what are you doing there, Sean? Oh, um, I'm actually getting ready to uh, prep for all of these decorators riser lights that we're gonna be putting in. So this is a little bit complicated because we have these wraparound stairs. Whenever we have these, you can see each tread is a little bit longer than the one before it. We don't wanna just do straight lines. We wanna stagger them and it just looks a little bit nicer. So what I like to do, start on my middle riser. I find my middle point, that's right there. And then we do an offset off of that. So right now I'm doing the three foot spacing between lights. So I pulled three feet off in both directions. So on this riser, we're right in between these two lights. And then from this one to this one, we have that three foot spacing. And then it's gonna be the same on this bottom riser. What do you think? Sounds good. So you can see because we staggered them, we have this, our top and bottom riser lining up. But because this one is about two feet longer, we get an extra light here so it looks like it cascades down this corner, but all the spacing is still the same. If you have them just in straight lines, it gets really wacky looking in this corner because you could either go light, 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 but then you have this big open space and it just looks a little, a little weird. So we like to do it like this on wraparound stairs and uh, a lot of lights going in here. tip for you when you're installing treads so we have a detail of a five and a half inch deck board a three sixteenths inch gap a two and a half two and five eighths rip tundra deck board and another three sixteenths gap that equals up to about eight and five eighths so what i like to do is i'll cut a spacer block eight and five eighths and i'll install i'll just rest these and butt my treads to them so i can keep a nice even reveal i started my miter I don't know if you can see, but it's not as tight as I would like. There's like a little bit of a gap there. What's happening is this deck board is kind of bowed in a little bit. Once I slap this in, it kicks it out. Now that's super tight. We've got some more lights going across this set of steps. Oh, yeah. We've got almost all of the lights installed. So now we just have to hook them together and you can see each light, I'll pop this out. So you see we've got our little trim piece here. This also comes in white and black with each set. So you can choose whether you want the darker or the lighter trim piece. Then our light just pops right in there. So we've got this lead on the end of each light and we're working from this way back because that's where we're gonna tie into the transformer. So we just have this hanging out the back. We put this splitter on it and all of this stuff comes inside the kit. Just plug and play. Now we'll go from our previous light. You can see this also has the splitter on it. Connect this in and you can see how easy this is. Just plug and play. Other end, gonna go into our next light, into this side of the splitter. Just kind of twist and push on there, good to go. And now you'll see we're left with another piece here and that's gonna connect to our next light. So they just wire all together and then you pick your spot where you wanna tie it into your transformer. They do come with a transformer kit for these lights, but we're gonna have a ton of landscape lighting, so we're gonna tie it in a little bit differently to a larger transformer. So we'll show you that when we get to it, but super easy. I really love the connection system. We'll finish wiring these up. We'll tack up all our wires, get them off the ground. We'll be good to go. Next step here is to start on this patio. We've got the deck almost wrapped up, so we're gonna jump fully into the pavers. We've got stone coming. We've got half of our Teco block order here, but you're gonna have to wait for the next vlog to jump into all of that. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned, and until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.